Okay, Ms. Keel, I have a simple question. I think it's a simple question. Now, uh, you, in this day and age, I find, at least down here in the South, there's a lot of people that's living into their 90s, whatever have you. Uh, why is that? Why, why are so many people living into their 90s? I wonder myself. Because well, when I was growing up, People were dying at 60 before they got 60 retirement. And now they are just, my, that gray head over there, she and I are the only second generation members of my mama's family. Mm -hmm. She's 99. And I just wonder what, what has happened. I don't know. Maybe they're eating better. I don't know. No, but I find that people are younger are dying also. There's a certain... Age. Those young are killing each other. Oh, well, you, have, you, have a, you have a point there. Okay. Yeah, they are killing each other. But there's a certain, there's a certain spot. I don't know what the... I guess I would say if you were born somewhere between... I don't know. I, I feel... I see a lot of somewhere between say 1930 and 19 I don't know 1930 and 1945. There's a lot of people that that are still are really still around. Yeah, and a lot of it it's where your roots are. See, my roots are in Carolina, on a farm, hmm. with parents who taught me the Bible, the Ten Commandments. You don't steal, you don't do, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of these children don't have no roots in that. But that's the moral code. That's not, a, no, no worries about that because you have a moral compass that you live by. I guess there's something else happening aside from the moral code. There's, when you say you grew up on the farm, which means that you had, you were doing a certain kind of exercises, or natural, I didn't say exercise, but natural. And eating, eating <laughs> yeah. the right kinds of food. You know, I think your, your menu has a lot to do with your length of life. Mm. I really do. When you eat fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and all of that, I'm sure it had something to do with, rather than eating, buying it sausage and, mm. you know, that kind of stuff. Well, why do you think people, well, it seems like people would know that that's the, the processed stuff, whatever is not healthy for you. But no, it's but, easy to get. Oh, easy, okay. The easy, yeah. easy to get. So, oh, that's you do. You tell you now. You're telling people are just lazy. That's <laughs> not so much lazy as they're working differently, mm. and so they get the food that they that's accessible, mm. easily accessed. Mm. But then. Okay, but now you have a beautiful garden out there. Oh, well, I'm say beautiful, but you have a you have a you have a garden. Let's put that. Way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't we, say it's beautiful. Okay, well, you can grow your own food, right? And you know how to grow your own food because yeah. you came from a farm kind of thing. Does no one in your community want to learn more about gardening and growing your own food? No, I had a I organized a garden club out here. And we used to do that entrance up there until all the children were out of the elementary school. They didn't want the garden anymore. And I did that entrance for 25 years right out here. Nobody offered me a penny of anything to put up there for that entrance. But when you say that the children... When they get older, they just stopped? Or what? They just stopped. Once they got out of elementary school, they didn't want to be digging anymore. And they weren't earth children anymore? No. Wow. All right. This is not good. Did you, let me put it this way. 
And you've seen a lot of things in, in, in your life. I believe in cycles that things shift back and forth. Was there a time when people weren't interested in going, then they were interested in going, and they're not interested? What, do you think it's going to shift back to people? I doubt it. I oh. doubt it. You don't see many people. I dig in my yard. He started, this year was the first year I ever saw flowers in his yard. Mm -hmm. And we've been living here over 45 years. Mm -hmm. But he finally started putting some flowers in his yard. But I had that garden club and a few people, maybe one or two from each street was on in the garden club. Mm. And we liked growing. I got a whole lot of plants back here that Mercedes says she's coming here to get. I'm bringing my containers because I want some of them. Well, see, nobody, everybody's tired of them now. Mm. I'm the only one left with the garden club. Well, well I'm sorry to hear that. That's maybe, well, who knows? Who, who knows what the... The future will bring, as they say. And I took plants from my yard last spring, this past spring, and houses that I see that have plants. Mm -hmm. I would take bulbs and things and ask them would they like to have one. So, you know, to give them some of the, the beautiful plants that I had blooming in my in my garden. Well, that's all you can do. Well, well, continue on. I think you'll it, sooner or later. I I believe in cycles. <laughs> it's only a belief, but I believe in cycles. Maybe you'll hit again. My, my daughter was never one of those cycles. My daughter, <laughs> you couldn't get her to go outside. <laughs> no. No, you just got to make it hip again. I think we'll see what happens. Okay, pleasant talking to you, Mrs. Q. Yeah.